Hi friends, so I wanted to take you through my new snare drum today and actually just got it and just wanted to do some, tell you some little things I just did finish doing to it. So this is a Pearl free flowing snare, uh, piccolo snare, 14 by four. I bought it used at Guitar Center listed as $150, which was pretty good steal in my opinion because, you know, one of these new go for about, you know, 350 to $400 new. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So, um, just a few minutes ago, I was just doing a couple touch-ups and little tuning and new heads and all that. And basically, minor restoration to the drum. And you can see all these other old drum heads. Uh, a bit of a story, when I got this drum out of the box, um, I was just checking the lugs here and I was noticing it had some missing washers. And luckily, it uh, since my father had some washers in the garage from fixing the, some of the pinball machines he had some spare washers that were able to fit the size so um i put the washers on and just um redid the tension rods and all that cleaned the insides nothing too big and then the the uh snare side rezzo head was completely shot this is it right here this old genera head was just completely shot it was i needed to so I thought I'd get a new, another uh, snare side head. And uh, the snare wires is 20 strand pure sound wires, which is, I, uh, you know, we focus that in there. Yeah, they're pure sound. And I actually bought those from uh, Bentley's Drum Shop because the old snare wires right here, which are in the trash, are pretty trashed up. They're losing a snare. And as you can see right there, there is a missing, and it won't focus. There you go. It's missing a snare wire, so that's done for. Got that put on. And also, another funny story in the straps is, um, gosh, I can't focus right now, is on the snare straps is that I actually used a drum hack from drummer R. David R. So, and that is to cut up an old drum head, which I use right here, which is the stock head, and use a template for some snare straps. And I'm not the best at cutting up straight lines, but there you go. I uh, cut out some snare, cut out some straps, and they're part of the drum head, and it works great as a snare strap. So now I have pretty much a lifetime supply of snare straps. So plus I created some like drum mute, whatever, when I was cutting out the other head. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't know what this stuff is right here. I think it's supposed to protect the snares from the snare bed or something like that. But, uh, you know, I just cranked it up. I haven't really tuned it too much yet, though, but it's on an Ambassador X coated. And that's pretty much it. So, that's what I did to my snare. So, I hope I, hopefully you guys can get just kind of, this is kind of like a little vlog type video, but I hope you guys enjoy it.